Final segment of the week. College football is just nuts, bro. There's no other way to describe it. College football is insane. Georgia Tech, unranked Georgia Tech upsets Miami, who was undefeated and ranked number four in the country. 28 to 23. The Hurricanes go down. And that's what makes college football so beautiful, man, because these upsets can happen at any time on any given week. And the crazy part, especially about this year, is when one upset happens, another one usually is quick behind. Ole Miss upsets Georgia, who is ranked number three in the country, 28 to 10. And that game was not even that competitive that's the crazy part and so georgia goes down again and so it's like yo college football anything can happen these upsets happen these programs they lose and one thing you gotta take into consideration is the timing of a loss because you want to lose early you don't you don't want to lose late and these college football playoff rankings starting to come out so you, you lose at this time of the year, and your, your margin for error is slim to none. And so now the upset bug is in the air. You had two teams get upset, number three and number four in the country, and here comes my Irish. Prime time. The, the lights are bright. Everybody in America is either watching this game or the Alabama LSU game. And what, what does Notre Dame do? <laughs> Notre Dame wins against Florida State 52 to 3. 52 to 3, man. I'm so proud of them boys. I am so proud of Notre Dame football right now in this moment. Because like I said, in college football, especially this year, upsets have come in waves on the same week. So going into that game, you had to be on high alert. And Notre Dame dominated this game from start to finish, 52 to three. Riley Leonard had 285 total yards, three touchdowns. Jadarian Price, seven carries for 95 yards and a touchdown. And Jeremiah Love scores again. Jeremiah Love has scored a touchdown in every single game this year, a rushing touchdown. And so that's beautiful. And then, again, we, we held Florida State to three points. Riley Mills, our captain at D-Tackle, had three sacks. Like, to hold a team to three points is, is pretty impressive, man. And Florida State is not a great team this year. They only have one win, if I'm not mistaken. But Florida State is still a program with a lot of, you know, history. And there's a lot of athletes that get recruited to Florida State, man. So, to dominate in that way... I couldn't be prouder of Notre Dame fighting Irish, man, because I was I was nervous going into that game. We'd already seen two upsets, and and so we were primed. Uh, we dominated from start to finish, and so that's good football, man. College football is just so crazy. It's just so crazy, bro. you just kind of sitting on pins and needles waiting to see what happens, but it was a good week for college football. Texas went crazy. Ohio State went crazy. Colorado. Colorado, 41-27 over Texas Tech. So when Colorado was losing, oh, people could not be quiet. People would not shut up. When it was when it was dicey, it could go either way. Oh, oh, Colorado this, Colorado that. Now Colorado punishing. Now Colorado is ranked number 18 in the country. And low-key, they control their destiny to the college football playoff. If they went out, they in. And so now everybody quiet. You, you can't hear a, a peep, a pin drop. Nobody talking about Colorado no more. Now that they're winning, okay, okay. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens.